Uh, hey guys, um, this is Fisher here, and I'm gonna try bring you a new series. Um, I just bought Jack and Dexter, so yeah, I'm gonna try do a playthrough. If I get enough likes and shit, I'll do it. Uh, I'll do two episodes to start, and then if no one really like, I don't get much views, I don't get enough likes, I'll stop doing it. I just want to try doing it. A bit like the bus is just playthroughing. Basically, the backdrop on this game is Jack and Dexter. There was one which was on PS2, two on PS2, and Jack 3. I never got around to playing. I don't even remember it being released, but I remember playing a bit of Jack 2, a lot of Jack 1, and I really liked the game. Basically, like, yeah, it's a um, platform game. It's, yeah, you see it when I play it, but. I don't know how to describe it, it's pretty good. It was like, it was a lot like Ratchet and Clank, except you two dudes instead. You don't ever get to be like the little dude who's, um, Baxter, I think. Yeah, it's called the Precursor Legacy, and it's pretty beast. Like, I'll just make a new save and shit. No, I probably played this game like when I was a lot younger, when I just got PS2, and I was really bad. So I might this game might be one of those games that are really easy or some shit. But um, I might just be able to blitz it in like two days. But um, I probably won't play it that much. I'll record it in segments and take my time doing through it. So yeah, basically. I'll just let you listen to the storyline of the game. I have asked the plants, but they do not remember. The plants have asked the rocks, but the rocks do not recall. Even the rocks do not recall. Every bone in my body tells me that the answers rest on the shoulders of a young boy. Oblivious to his destiny, uninterested in the search for truth, and rejecting of my guidance. And why would he want to listen to old Samus the Sage anyway? I'm only the master of Green Ego, one of the wisest men on the planet. <sighs> so it seems the answer begins not with careful research or sensible thinking. Nay! As with many of fate's mysteries, it begins with but a small act of disobedience. Hey! Uh, Jack, old green stuff told us not to come here. Alright, well, we don't need to watch this. This is basically the, you see the bad guys of the story. But this is, this is pretty important, anyway, like... Jack? This place gives me the creeps. The blonde haired guy's Jack and that guy's Hello. Jackster or Daxter. And yeah. Huh? Oh, stupid precursor junk. Eek! What is that dark ooze? It sure don't look friendly. <gasps> the sage yaps on about the precursors that built this place all the time. Where did they go? Why did they build this crowd? Now I like precursor orbs and power cells as much as the next guy. But if you ask me, they must have been a real loser. Wow! How did you do that? I think we're in trouble! And basically, that's that's how Daxter becomes a little a little fucking rat thing. Okay, okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. Yeah. Well, and then they go back to the wizard guy and he's just talking about shit and then this is when you're actually playing the game this is like a little training area and 
they've they've remade the game and they've done a pretty good job. The graphics are pretty good. This device is a communicator. With it, my father and I can give you advice at any time during your quest. So basically, just playing this game again. I gotta learn this shit again. This bitch just keeps talking. I just want to play the fucking game. Move out the way. You get Easter eggs. Big whoop. It's mad. And is very pretty. Yeah, basically, um, you gotta get 20 of these things to move on to the next area. I don't know how much areas there was because I played this game ages ago. But this game ends up getting pretty annoying and struggling. I, um, when I was younger, I guess I didn't complete it because I was pretty shit at the game. As you are when you're younger. But I guess, yeah, I might fly through it. I might just get 20 things in like an hour, but hopefully not. Hopefully the game takes me a while. I bought, um, you buy the trilogy for $40 off, um, Games Australia or some shit. But you can get it for like 50 in Big W, or 58 in Big W, and 68 in BB Games. But <coughs> basically, there's that blue eco, which power you up. The green eco, which gives you health. And there's the dark eco which kills you or hurts you or makes you into a little rat cunt like that guy. So, and that thing, I guess it also grabs shit closer to you, breaks your chests, and yeah, and the green eco just heals you. You know, it's like a lot of the, a lot of this shit in the game. It's like puzzles, like you know, if there's a door that won't open, but you know, it's been gay. So you're like, yeah, you gotta get like, get the blue shit and be on like in fire, get in the door, and that only opens if you do that. And a lot of challenging shit. Like there's levels in the game where you just you do all this shit, you open the door. And then you fall off down the bottom again, and you gotta walk all the way back up. I guess if you had this on computer, you could have save states, and it'll be a hell of a lot easier and simpler for you. But on console, it makes it a bitch. And open. So I guess in a training area, they're handing out these progressive things like skittles. Nothing about them. But as you get through the game, they're pretty hard to get, and you got to get them all. With Blue Eco, you can breathe energy into all kinds of precursor artifacts that have laid The only thing in this game that annoying me so far is the camera. Yeah, it's like you got to like move it around, and it's never where you want it. It's kind of annoying, but it's one of those games that'll hopefully last you a while. Entertaining, keep you playing it, and it's pretty cool. Like, even when you get like a precursor, they'll they like dance and shit. It's pretty gay, but it's pretty funny. Well, I don't know what happens if you jump into water, so I just don't recommend doing it. But basically, this is the tutorial bit, so it's not really exciting. There's no bad guys, just getting the orbs. See what it's like. You get it, and they dance. Yeah, it's pretty. The real tank. Really stupid. We are like, like I was saying, I'll hopefully do more of these playthroughs. And this is just like the start of the shit. This isn't the really the whole game. It's just like the area. And hopefully, um, ten likes, and I'll continue doing it. I've already recorded the second one, so I'll bring the second one out soon. And the second one will be better than this, because, yeah, um, just speaking wasn't very good in this. But, see this.